going on everybody? This is DK Dynamite for a second video here for you guys tonight talking about the secret rooms in the dark ether, how to find the keys around Albagra, plus even more. Definitely stay tuned. But before we jump into that, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below, drop a like, and also as a reminder, we got plenty of brand new coverage going up over on Detonated.com, expanding on all the content you're seeing here on the channel. There was quite a bit to post with the launch of Season 1 for every single game mode, but especially zombies. Now with that being said, I posted a separate video a couple of days ago talking about how to get back into the dark ether after you complete the Act 4 story mission. Mission, and without having to repeat the Act 4 story mission. There is a regular version of the Dark Aether requiring the use of sigils, and there is a hardcore version of the Dark Aether requiring Elder Sigils. All that has been covered in some separate videos, but similar to Albagra that we had over in DMZ, which was a point of interest on Almazra, the big DMZ map, Albagra is featured in the Dark Aether exclusively outside of Urzikstan. And with that being said, there are keys found inside of the regular and hardcore versions of the Dark Aether, which can open secret rooms. Now, on the Act 4 story mission in the Dark Aether, these keys cannot be found, and the secret rooms are already open, so there's no point in attempting this in the story mission. This will only be done in the Dark Aether that you access via sigils or elder sigils. Now, I do want to circle back to the Act 4 mission later in this video, since we did find something a little strange, but around the Dark Aether, or Albagra, I should say, there will be secret rooms, and once inside, you'll find power bonuses and even wonder weapon cases. These are really easy to access once you know where the keys are located, but I want to point something out that I've seen some odd comments about on the COD Zombies Reddit and even on Twitter. These keys aren't quote unquote left over from DMZ. It isn't a mistake that they're in the Dark Ether. It is intended for you to find these keys inside of the Dark Ether. They can open secret rooms, which do contain some bonuses you might find useful. This isn't a bug, it's not a glitch. These are intended little side quests inside of Albagra here in MW3 Zombies. Now, it's worth pointing out as well the keys cannot be stashed when you grab them and brought into another game. They're only one time use keys that could be used in the match that you're in. You can't exfil with them and bring them into a separate infill of the Dark Aether. It also appears the rewards inside of these secret rooms are randomized, meaning the weapon case might be in one secret room in the game you're in, but then in a different room during your next infill. It does appear, though, that there will always be rewards in at least a few of these rooms, just not the same ones in every single match. There's five secret rooms total, and I would recommend running Death Perception, just so you know for a fact if a weapon case is in one of those rooms, especially the locked doors, which you can't really see behind, at least in some of the secret rooms you can kind of see what's behind the gated door. But if there's a door that's completely shut, if you have death perception, you can see if there's a weather weapon case sitting right behind it, which is all the more useful in the case that you want to just prioritize which keys you should grab in the match that you're in. Maybe in a future update, they'll change it to where you could stow keys and bring them to a separate match, or they'll change it to where there are guaranteed rewards in every single secret room. I'll keep you guys posted if that changes. Now, I also want to point out what to bring in, because when going for these keys and opening the secret rooms, it could be extremely difficult, especially on solo, or if your team is scattered and you have hordes, and I mean hordes of zombies behind you, you're looking at tier 3 level zombies in the dark ether on top of increased spawns of special enemy types. Things get very difficult and I wouldn't recommend doing this in the elder dark ether version, right? The hardcore, which makes it feel like tier 4 level zombies. I mean, if you're in there doing contracts and you happen to run across these keys, go for it, but I'd really recommend doing it in the regular dark ether, which just requires the normal sigils. Zombies are going to get tough here, but if you have deep decoys or monkey bombs, definitely use those when picking up a key and opening a secret room so you get at least a couple of seconds to breathe and grab your rewards. I'd also recommend a Scorcher as often as you can inside of the Dark Aether to ensure that you can fly anywhere you need to go so you can kind of jump to a different spot if there's too many zombies near you or just to give yourself some breathing room if you just need a second to regroup and think about where you need to go next. But I really want to stress that there's a really weird bug going around in both Urzikstan and Albagra's Dark Aether to where if you're in the air while you get down and you fall to your death, you cannot be revived and you're going to be dead the entirety of that match. But also, as you're aware, tier 3 zombies are pretty tough. Bring maxed out weapons with the highest rarity possible and certainly tier 3 pack-a-punch. So here's how this works. There's seven total secret rooms you can open up in the Albagra Dark Aether map, one in the barracks, one in a bedroom, two in the officer quarters, two in the storefront, and one in the antiquity shop. So in total, you should be able to find seven keys in every match that you play here inside of the Dark Aether. We have a graphic here from Detonated detailing exactly where the keys can be found and what rooms they are for. As of now, it does appear like the keys are always in the same location and always open the same doors, but I will keep you guys posted if anything does change and if there's any type of weird RNG that we just didn't discover in the 10 plus games that we tested this out in. Again, the keys should be in the same locations in every single match and it will be the same keys in those locations that open up specific doors in every single match. So starting off with the officer quarter keys, one should be in an info booth right near the spawn point here as you just enter the 
this area of the map. There'll be one just sitting here right here on a desk. Another one could be found upon doing a little bit of a parkour quest. So if you go all the way up to the top of this pillar, you'll see a crane floating in the air. Every 30 seconds or so, the crane will move close enough to you to where you can mantle onto it and parkour onto the other pillar that's across the way. That's the only way to get there unless you have a scorcher that can launch you into the air and you can just parachute to the top of this pillar where you'll see a second officer quarter key. Now, once you're in the officer quarters, the left door should typically have a wonder weapon case. I've seen some pretty good RNG where I think every other match or so, there's a wonder weapon just sitting in there. Again, it's an acquisition, meaning that when you pick it up, it doesn't just use it right away and put the wonder weapon in your hands. It'll go ahead and stash in your backpack for you to either pop right then and there or bring into your next match. The door on the right, the other officer quarter door, should have a power up in it. Typically, it's a max ammo. I believe that you'll always see the same type of power up in every secret room if it does spawn there in that match. So you're looking at the possibility of wonder weapon case and a power up here in the officer quarters. I do wish that one key would have opened both doors or that one officer quarter key could have had multiple uses, but it's a one-time use per key, unfortunately. Next up, we have the storefront. You can find this key by also doing parkour just by where you found the key for officer quarters. If you just stay on the pillar where you got the officer quarter key, you can actually jump onto this ambulance to the next pillar where you'll find the key there for the storefront. Again, if you're doing parkour to get one key, might as well grab both at this rate, and then you can make your way over to the warehouse, which is of course labeled on the detonated graphic, and in this warehouse, you'll see a second key for the storefront. So in terms of what you can find here in this area, I very, very commonly see an insta-kill in the gate here on the right, the first storefront door. You go in here, grab an insta-kill, could come in clutch, especially if you're doing one of the Dark Ether contracts close to this area, might as well get a free insta-kill. But in the door on the left, very rarely, but I have seen it, but very rarely, I have seen a Wonder Weapon case sitting in that room. Honestly, I'll say if you guys have a key and you see there's nothing in there, like a power-up or a Wonder Weapon case, then it's not worth wasting the key or opening the door unless you just want a space that you could just camp in and have a spot to just chill at. It can be very easy to get trapped in here if you're by yourself. So if you're with a group of people and you're just trapping yourselves in a room for whatever reason, then I guess there's a use for the secret room. But on top of that, you can also find a key for the antiquities shop, which can be found in the south underground section of the map just sitting right here on a box. I've always seen it here in every single match that I played. Once again, we've ran through the Dark Ether almost a dozen times, and these keys are always in these locations. What's weird about this room, though, which, again, is pointed out on the graphic, is that once you open it, I've never not gotten a full power from this room. I feel like the RNG for this power-up has just been really strong, but maybe it's just been my luck. Maybe there's a possibility you open it, and there's no power-up in there. Totally plausible, but there also is a slim chance that a Wonder Weapon case could be chilling there in the corner of this room. I almost missed it last time I went in here without death perception. There was just a Scorcher case laying right there on the ground on the other side of that canvas, which is kind of by the full power, so always make sure you inspect these rooms the best that you can to ensure you're not missing a possible Wonder Weapon case that could be sitting there on the floor. We next up have the Barracks Key, which can be located on the bottom floor on top of a desk in the middle apartment building. So there's a section of the map that has several different apartment buildings. The middle one does contain this desk where the key could be located, and you're going to find the barracks on the right side of the fortress, the bottom floor, and inside you could typically find a full armor power-up. There's probably a chance the Wonder Weapon case also sitting in here. Again, there's probably a chance that in every match that you play of the Dark Ether, there's probably one to one weapon cases cycled across the seven total secret rooms that are located here in Albagra. So here's where things get pretty strange. There is a seven secret room which can be unlocked using a key. It is known as the South Bedroom Door. And for whatever reason, the key for this door is either bugged or just hasn't been found yet, but allow me to explain. So there was another key location found in the infested stronghold underground here in Albagra, and somehow it was another officer quarters key. I'm like, wait a second, there's only two officer quarter doors that you can open. Why would there be three keys for the officer quarters? That just doesn't make any sense. Now, funny enough, if you go over on Reddit, there was a post that was put out talking about this exact same key, which somebody apparently found in this infested stronghold area, but the person claimed that they found it in the Act 4 story mission. So I'm like, wait a second, you can't find keys in the Act 4 story mission. So we went ahead and hopped in game, tested the Act 4 mission, and what do you know, none of the keys that we just went over in this video were found in any of those spots. And like I said at the beginning of the video, all the secret rooms were already open. No rewards inside. But for some reason, in the Act 4 story mission, down in the Ethernest or the Infested Stronghold, you guys know what I mean, there was a key there for the Antiquities room. But then when going into the regular Dark Ether outside of the Act 4 mission, there wasn't a key in this spawn, but there was one a couple of feet away, and that was the third officer quarter key, which, again, was useless since we already had the other officer quarter keys. So what I believe happened here is that this person did find the spawn for the bedroom key, 
key, but maybe the game bugged out and accidentally plopped an officer quarters key, even though you don't even need that one, we need the bedroom key. So I'll keep you guys posted if for whatever reason, there's just three officer quarter keys, even though there's only two doors you can open, or if there is some glitch that happened here where this was meant to be the bedroom key that just didn't spawn in correctly, but in this other person's game, it did spawn in correctly, but accidentally bugged out and spawned in in the Act 4 story mission where it's not even needed. If you could have exfilled with it, you still could have used it later, but no, it's a one-time use in the max that you're in, which means right now, there just isn't a bedroom key. But with that perception, I did see there is a Wonder Weapon case that could be located in this bedroom. So if you guys managed to find this key, let me know down below in the comments. I'll keep you guys posted on this story over on Detonator and in the pinned comment of this video. And now, that is about it. This has been DK Dynamite. Leave our thoughts down below in the comment section. What are your thoughts on all these secret rooms thus far here inside of the Dark Ether? How are you feeling about the Albagra Wonder Weapon cases and even the free power-ups? Leave all your thoughts down below. Really hope you've enjoyed and peace out, everybody.